A 2021 study showed that one in every three Americans reported serious loneliness, with respondents saying that they felt lonely frequently or almost all the time. It's hard to believe knowing that we live in the most interconnected era of civilization. We all have phones, so we can contact our friends and family at any time. We have the internet to interact with our loved ones, and we are constantly engaging with strangers online. So why are people so lonely in this day and age? Well, even though it's easier than ever to get in touch with people online, it's become harder than ever to to make connections in real life. Social media can actually make loneliness worse. When we see other people's lives on Instagram or TikTok filled with fun and excitement, it can make us feel like we're missing out, like we're doing something wrong, like they're having all the fun and you're a loser. You're sitting at home by yourself and that makes you feel even more lonely. I know you're used to seeing videos about fashion and self-development here on this channel and I love shooting those, but this is a topic that comes up daily in my life. I get messages from guys all over the world asking me how to make friends or how to get over a breakup because they're lonely, they're struggling, and it pains me to read those messages. That's why I'm making this video. I wanna help. We all have those times where we feel lonely or disconnected, even if there's a ton of people around us. You can be at a coffee shop, right? There's a lot of people coming in and out, people working there, but that doesn't mean you feel any less lonely when you're sitting there by yourself, looking at your phone, hoping that someone comes over to talk to you. And guess what? That's probably not gonna happen. So how do you fix that? How do you stop being lonely? I wanna talk about that feeling, why it happens, and then a few tricks that have helped me when I felt that way. And trust me, I felt it too. When I first moved to LA, I didn't know a single soul out there. I moved out there for work and I had to figure it out. I spent a lot of days alone in my apartment in this beautiful city, so many amazing things happening around me, but I wasn't involved in any of them. At the time, I was ordering takeout for myself almost every night, going on walks by myself, just trying to pass time, hoping that I'd make some friends. But I'm not gonna lie to you, as much as I didn't wanna accept it, deep down, the truth is, I felt lonely, genuinely lonely. But the good news is, with time and effort, things eventually took a turn for the better. Slowly but surely, my social life began to change. I pushed myself to meet new people, to become more social, and I put myself out there. Before I knew it, I had built a strong social circle, and today I'm so blessed to have a substantial number of friends that I can count on at any moment. Knowing they have my back is an incredible feeling, and I'm sharing my story because I want the same success story for all of you. And real quick, if you're not subscribed yet, we're about to hit four million subscribers, and it would mean a lot to me if you hit that subscribe button below. Once you hit it, comment done, or let me know when you subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I promise I'll reply to as many comments as I can today. There's a lot of reasons for loneliness. One of the biggest reasons is technology. Working remotely, taking classes online, these seem very practical and convenient, but it also means that you don't get to physically interact with as many people on a day-to-day -day basis. And I've heard from a lot of friends that went from working in an office to working from home, that they miss going into the office. Maybe not Monday through Friday, but it would be nice to go in two to three times a week just to get that face-to-face -face human interaction. You see, the problem isn't that we aren't connected, it's that the nature of our connections has changed. We often mistake those online interactions for genuine, meaningful relationships. They're very different. Scrolling through social media might give the illusion of being connected, but in reality, it can lead to feelings of isolation. Guys in their 20s also get lonely for one big reason. When you're a teenager, you're forced to have that human interaction in school. You talk to your classmates, you talk to your teacher, you're put into a situation that makes it a lot easier to make friends on a daily basis. Same goes for college. Maybe you live in a dorm, everyone around you is the same age, has similar interests, but when you graduate, all of a sudden you stop seeing your friends. A lot of them move out of your hometown to pursue their careers or start a family, and you're no longer around as many people with similar interests and similar ages. That's a big change. This means that now you have to be proactive in making friends. You have to make time for them outside of your busy schedule. Instead of seeing them every day in class, at lunch break, or hanging out after school, you have to actually reach out to them and make plans. Try to make your schedules align. Make an effort to see each other. It's a whole different ball game. Be the social initiator. Take the lead. Text your friends with a time and place for everyone to meet up because if you sit around waiting for others to make plans, it might never happen. Be the connector and bring your friends together for dinner, for drinks on the weekends, or to watch the game. Another big reason for loneliness is the fear of being vulnerable. And something that can help solve that is talking to someone who isn't going to judge you, someone who you're not trying to impress, someone you're not worried trying to make them like you to be your friend. Talking to a therapist is one of the best things that you can do to learn more about yourself and to get things off your chest without feeling that social anxiety. And our sponsor, BetterHelp, makes that so easy. Let me address the elephant in the room. Man can and should talk to a therapist. I know it might sound intimidating, but therapy is a powerful tool for self-discovery and just overcoming loneliness. BetterHelp connects you to a therapist specialized in whatever challenges you're going through, whether it's social anxiety, 
building meaningful relationships, or you just need to talk to someone to ask questions without being judged. You just sign up online and then schedule sessions as a phone call, a video chat, or even messaging if you prefer that, so you don't have to sit in an awkward waiting room. It's discreet, it's judgment-free, and on your schedule. If you've always avoided therapy, I just wanna give you two main reasons to try it. Hear me out. One is self-discovery. Therapy helps you understand the core of your emotions. A lot of times we feel lonely because of unresolved issues from the past. Maybe you try to make a friend at school, they made fun of you, and you got scared to ever try again. And you'd be surprised at how often this happens. This is common. In therapy, you'll be able to discover all of those issues which will allow you to address them and move forward. And two, therapists aren't random people. They're professionals. They can offer insights and perspectives that friends and family might not. Look, I'm not a dumb guy, all right? But before therapy, I always thought that I didn't need to talk to anyone. I had it under control but my therapist brings up points that I wouldn't have thought of, and just that by itself, being able to hear a point of view that you wouldn't normally think of, it makes you go, you know what, that's a good point. Maybe that's why I've been having a hard time making friends. And that is so worth it. And again, you can always stop it if you don't like it, or swap to a different therapist if you don't like your first one, which BetterHelp offers free of charge if you're not happy with yours for whatever reason. So hear me out. Be open-minded with this one. Click that first link in the description. It's betterhelp.com slash Alex Costa, and you even get a discount on your first month. But therapy is just one piece of the puzzle. Building meaningful connections requires effort. Something most people don't realize is that real and meaningful connections, it's all about quality, not quantity. It's not about having a big number of friends, but having a few genuine ones. So invest your time and energy into relationships that have that healthy two-way street. You both contribute to that friendship. You both provide value to each other. That is the best type of friendship. You don't wanna be the only one giving value or vice versa. Don't reach out only to ask for favors. Hey, can you help me move? Hey, can you help me with this project? That's fine to do it once in a while, but when the time comes, you need to do the same for your friends. And I'd go one step further, offer help. Offer value without even waiting for them to ask for it. Real meaningful connections, they usually stem from shared interests, but you don't know what shared interests you have until you've mentioned them to someone. So if you're just going through small talk with people about the weather, traffic, that's not gonna get you anywhere. A strategy that I like to use is to cut through the BS and just try to learn as much as possible about that person that I'm talking to. That way I can find out pretty much instantly whether or not we would be good friends. This next reason for loneliness, you know, people think this stuff is cringy, but I guarantee that it's not. It's actually crucial to practice self-compassion, being kind to yourself. If you're always having that negative self conversation, right, in your head, like, oh, I don't have friends because I'm not cool enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not handsome enough, I don't make enough money, then yeah, who wants to be around that negative person? You don't even wanna be around that person, do you? Understand that it's okay to feel lonely sometimes. Use this feeling as a jump start for self-improvement. Pursue your passions, work on becoming the best version of yourself, and you're gonna naturally attract people who resonate with the real you. And of course, join our YouTube family. We're here for you, I'm here for you. Hit the subscribe button below, join the YouTube fam, and watch these videos to find your true potential.